Welcome to the Notion Pro. I'm Jared, and today we're going to build a notebook in Notion. We're going to take a look at how to set it up, and the template is available for you down in the description below. So this notebook template here has a few different notebooks in it. And I set it up this way so that I had different notebooks that I can easily get to and keep things sorted. And so you can see I have a bookmarks, an inbox, and a personal notebook that are created here. These are three different uh, databases essentially. And then over on the right here, I have the database linked so that I can view a nice display of it. So when I go to my notebook, this is what I'm looking at. I have the different notebooks and then I have an inbox which makes it easy for me to drop new notes. And so if I have a new note, for example, um, topics for notebooks video, I could just throw it in here and it's in the inbox and then I can sort it later. Having an inbox where you can quickly just throw notes saves a lot of time. In the past, I would create these really elaborate notebooks with all these different properties and it just took too much time to get information in. Of course, I could always go back and update that and I, I could try and make it simple, but by having too many options up front, it really hindered me getting into the notebook and actually just using it. So having an inbox where I just drop everything and then later on go back and sort it makes things so much easier for me. Before realizing that I could just create this inbox, I ended up going back and using Evernote because it was just easy to throw something in Evernote instead of coming into Notion and utilizing what I really wanted to utilize, which was my notebook in Notion. So of course, once I'm done, with one of these and I want to sort it, it's easy. I could just take this topics for notebooks video and I can go and drop it on personal and then when I go in personal you can see that it's there. And so it's easy to move things from your inbox to a notebook, a specific notebook, um, just by clicking and dragging. And so that was uh, just one of the killer features I think for me was I didn't even have to go in and then choose move and then choose where I wanted to move it to. It was just a simple drag and drop. So these are three databases over here on the side. So if I wanted to add another database, I could do something like just hit plus and I could put uh, workbook, we'll call that, um, and then just turn this into a page. And so we'll go to turn into page, new sub page. We'll click on that and then I'll just call it uh, a, a table database. That's one way of doing it. Another thing that we could do is have a template. So, you know, in these databases, we already have tags, status, files, URL. We already have some things filled out. And if you don't want to have to create that every single time, then you can create a uh, notebook database template right here that you can then just duplicate and then you have a new notebook available. I have a lot of notebooks built out so if we go to my notebook you can see over here I have lots of different notebooks for different areas and then even some different databases within for those notebooks and so that makes it very easy for me to get between those notebooks and then I have my inbox where I can throw ideas and thoughts and then drag them into the appropriate notebook when I'm ready to you know connect it with its right rightful notebook <laughs> so anyways um, those different databases over here you can see this is just uh, I created two columns here and there's a, a split here so I can adjust the width of this column I just have it like I don't know what that is like a like a 90 10 split or something like that um, so that I have enough room for my notebooks over here and enough room for that linked database over here so this is a page this is not a database this page that we're looking at here um, this was a page that contains some databases and then contains this link database. So to show you how to do a link database, we can hit backslash and type in link and create link database. I can then type in notebooks, or actually it needs to be one of the name of one of those, and so we'll switch that to personal. Make sure I choose the correct one, personal. And so now it's pulling in the information from this database. So this is the personal database with its entries. And then if I go back here, this is the database personal uh, with those entries. 
and I can add filtering, I could change the views, and so you can see here this is a more simplified view. Uh, so if I wanted to create a simplified view for this, I would choose list, and I could just call this like default view, create, and so now we have a more simplified list with just the name and, uh, and just the status of that particular note. I could go in and add additional properties such as uh, when it was last updated, and now I have another linked database in here. So I could also, on this, I guess what you would call a dashboard page for my notebook, have some different linked databases there so that I can easily see the most recent notes from some of those different notebooks, which you know is really a great thing to have uh, as part of that dashboard. So when you get this template, you're gonna get exactly what you see here. You're gonna get the databases within it. So you can go and rename these databases. You can delete the content that's in them, uh, change out the, um, the tags and the different stuff. You can see I have, a, um, I have a bookmark here to my course. And so, you know, that's a bookmark. I just put in the web address and created a bookmark. And so this is how I sort my bookmarks. Uh, instead of sorting them in my browser where I often forget they exist and I'm not even able to add really any context to them, I can come in here and sort my bookmarks by whether it was a reference or a, uh, you know, something, a shop type of web e-commerce website, any of that stuff. It makes it really easy for me to come in and find websites that I saved for specific reasons. Um, then of course the inbox, which you know we've already described is just a place to dump new ideas and thoughts so that we can go back and add context to them later and organize them into their appropriate notebooks later. Um, I have a, a personal one here with a couple of entries. We see, we see we've got tags like what you know what are, where does it fit in my personal life? Is it chores, kids, general travel, something that I resonated with lately? The status, is it new, in progress, or archived? Is there a file associated with it? Is there a URL associated with it? And then these two items, updated and created, are automatically added uh, to the list here. And then I have it sorted, updated by descending. And so that means as I update a note, even if I update an older note, it's gonna bring it up to the top of the list. And so I'm viewing all of my notes in the order in which they've been most recently updated. And then I have some filtering on them too to show when the status is not archived. So I wanna see all notes except archived. And you can see here I have some different views so that I could still get in and view all notes, including those that are archived. So you can see there's an archived note there. I can also view in a board view, which will show me all of the different notes in the different statuses that they're in, whether they're new, in progress, or archived. And then I also have a notes list, which is just kind of a simplified list. And then there's also a notes calendar to give you a calendar view of all of your notes. So you could really get creative with this. As you can see, um, you can create many notebooks for different areas of your life and have a way to structure all of that and also provide different database layouts for the different areas. And so obviously with my personal notebook, there's gonna be tags and status and there's gonna be different properties than I would have for the bookmarks. And if I had a, a work notebook and you know where I wanna just save things that I'm referencing for later, like these different notebooks, they're gonna have different properties associated with them. And so for me, having separate databases for all of those works out really well because then I can have separate properties. And because these are databases, I can export these later and import them into another tool. If I decide, you know, I, I've been using Notion for notebooks for a year, but I really wanna move back to something like, um, you know, Evernote or whatever, having everything in a database like this means that when I move everything over to another tool, the tags can become categories or tags in whatever that tool is. The status, you know, can if there's a, a status option in that tool, that can move over as well. If there's files associated or URLs or anything like that, all of that stuff is gonna move over really well because I have ways of setting that up here in the database and not utilizing the page for all of that stuff. So of course, when I open this up, you know, there's, there's content that will be down on the page and that's where I will take my notes or put any resources or information, but setting it up this way, I think sets me up 
in the best way in the case that I wanted to move to a different tool. And a lot of times, you know, we put a lot of effort into a tool, and then when it comes time to try out a new tool, it's too hard to get our information out of the one tool into another. So that's why I set things up this way, and I hope that it's useful for you too. If you have any questions, definitely ask down in the comment section below. Like I said, this template's available to you in the description below. There's also a link to my Master Notion course, which helps you learn how to build things like this, also including learning how to connect databases like a notebooks database to other databases so that there's context between databases and connection there. So you'll learn a lot in that course if you're interested. There's a link to it down in the description below. To get notified when I put out new videos, because we are trying to put out three videos each week on Notion, you can subscribe to my newsletter in the description below and subscribe to the channel here so that you get notified through YouTube. But that's going to do it for today. Thanks so much, and I hope to see you back in another one soon. Take care.